Turf war, bang up for this one. Four and a run this to our Manchester United in those chin shirts. White shirts to get us underway. The Worthington Cup is underway. Burnley, who conquered Tottenham in the last round here against Manchester United, who got past Leicester City in the last round. Well, this is going to be a real game of beautician and to see who will come out on top. Burnley, of course, need, I tell you, in claret and blue. And this to right. And here's Glenn Little early on. Turf so Moore really buzzing for this Worthington Cup. The last 16, the winners will go into the draw for the quarterfinals. And they'll take place tomorrow. And that's a foul, surely there, free kick. Robbie Blake. Cost Burnley a million pounds from Bradford. Back in uh, February, March. Good turn again. Good ball in there. Taylor going in. Oh, and that would have been a dream start within a minute for the Clarence. Gareth Taylor. Lovely work down the left-hand side. Alan Moore with the ball in. Or rather, Robbie Blake, I should say, with the ball in. And Gareth Taylor, not renowned for scoring with his feet, one must add. Well, he would have... He would have been a collector's item if he'd have prodded that one in. So a goal kick to be taken by Roy Carroll. Steve Davis. At the moment, no evidence of the cut opening up at the moment or at all. But uh, so far, it's been pretty effective. But here's Van Nistelrooy. Gets the ball back. And the shot comes in, deflected. Well played. Good defending from Burnley. Here's to Glenn Little. It's a real good cup tie, this. Playing in a terrific spirit. Briscoe doing terrifically well. Fantastic play. Now then, big chance in the middle. And Taylor's in there again. Oh, he's had two opportunities now. Maybe this should be planting it on his head. Stan Turnant and Sam Ellis will be absolutely delighted with the start there, side of Med. And this is not going to be a walkover or anything like that for Manchester United. You can be rest assured of that. 12 minutes gone here at Turf Moor. 0-0 nil -nil here in this fourth round Worthington Cup. Little chip in there towards the Taylor. And again, the header this time from Taylor again. Forcing the save from Carroll. Here's Sylvest. It's a good ball. And that's uh, a good ball towards Van Nistelrooy. Chadwick, Van Nistelrooy, good save. That's an excellent save by Marlon Beresford. And look to all intents and purposes that uh, Van Nistelrooy was going to stab it in. But even the prolific Ruth Van Nistelrooy misses them from time to time. Good ball back. Beautifully weighted and well positioned, it has to be said, by Marlon Beresford. Now, Harry, very strong in the tackle. Did really well. Now then, real opportunity here now for the Carrots to come forward. And it's Glenn Little. West is free on the right if Little picks him out. Goes in field. Little goes on. Sylvester is there. Little doing well. Round the keeper. Oh, he smashed it over the bar. But I think the whistle has gone for a foul on Sylvester. And a three kick to Manchester United. Referee was right, I have to say. Neil Barry is the man in charge. Referee a bad-tempered game between Burnley and Millwall a year ago. Which ended 0-0 in a game that Burnley should have won. And should have had at least a penalty. And a red card given against Millwall that day. But the referee was right on this occasion. Oh, Burnley needing the funds, obviously. A cup run will bring. That's a good effort from Michael Stewart, however. And that's a fantastic piece of goalkeeping there by uh, Marwan Beresford. Stewart again. Four and. United plenty forward. Or Shane now making the break. And they claim a corner, United, and they've got it. Uh, to Graham Branch's frustration. Well, Phil Neville actually won the corner. And now that seems to come off uh, Phil Neville last. Let's have a look at it again. 
It's Branch. It's Neville. That's a goal kick to me. I don't think the Burnley fans will be too happy if this turns out to be a goal for Manchester United. Round is forward from the back. Sylvester's there too. Van Nistelrooy waits as well. Towards O'Shea as well. Comes to fall and wide. And maybe, just maybe, because of that missed opportunity, maybe justice has actually been done. And United haven't scored from it. You just think if Bowen had connected and hit the back of the net, I don't think there would have been a lot of, lot of unhappy faces in that Burnley camp. We've played half an hour. Burnley have really dominated when they've got... Well, they certainly look dangerous when they've been in attack. Here's West again. Good ball in. Still my break and hooked away for a corner by Philip Neville. Blake was closing in on it. And it looked to all intents and purposes. But Burnley were going to strike the first goal here. Steve West with a wonderful cross. A little flick header and it just wouldn't drop for Burnley. Right, United now trying to get balls. Trying to get moving forward. Oh, that's a good ball. Fallen. He's played on side by Dean West. And he scored. That's the danger when you try to play... A high line and Manchester United caught Burnley flat footed then. Dean West was the culprit. He played them all on side. And Diego Forlan, who a few weeks ago could hit a bando with a banjo, is now scoring goals for fun in League, Champions League, and now Worthington Cup. Look at Dean West, bottom of the picture. Clearly playing him on. Really poor defending from the Burnley right back. And the Clarets will be disappointed because they've really had a good go at this tonight. And not a lot Beresford can do about that. When you've got a sharp shooter like Mr. Fallon in business, there's not a lot you can do about that. But Dean West will have to look at himself and actually think, should I have moved up much quicker? But it's Burnley nil, Manchester United won. And Fallon was a sure effort there, really. The flag rightly stayed down. Claret's now needing a, needing a little break or two now. They've played very well. They can't they can't uh, be too despondent as Fallon claims his sixth goal of the season. Now then, a chance here for Blake. Still pointing forward. Blake again. He'll have a go. Blake! Well, he... Went for the long-range effort against Spurs. It paid off in the last round. It just half an inch or two over. Went for the shot. Actually hit the camera behind the goal. Burnley corner. Inside the last four minutes of the first half. The Harry's forward. Davis is forward too. The match winner in the last round. Davis is there too. Oh, an opportunity. Robbie Blake. It's got to be another corner, surely. Got a big deflection. And indeed it is. So Burnley will have to try again. From the far side once more. And they've had five corners to Manchester United three, which is uh, very interesting. So Terris and Taylor can stay forward. Now Harry's there too. Briscoe with it. And David, oh, good save, Steve Davis. And Gareth Taylor was in there too. And Roy Carroll here with a marvellous one-handed save. Davis was certainly in there, but I think it was Gareth Taylor who got the header in. Third corner in the bounce for the Clarets. And again, another good delivery. Taylor again jumping. It might break for Glenn Little. He'll chase it, that's for sure. But he'll be beaten away by O'Shea. And then Cook gets it back to the comfortable safety of Ruf, uh, Marlon Beresford as Van Nistelrooy came in. And that's a foul against Taylor, which has not gone down very popular with the Burnley fans. Let's have a look at that save, though, from Carroll. And in fact, it was Garth Taylor who got up. Davis was also in there, too. And in fact, that's a brilliant save. Here come United looking for a second one, which on the balance of play would be would be a bit undeserved. Briscoe went in and went in too hard according to the referee. I have to say it's a bit of a harsh decision. 
but he did play the man. And we can't afford to give her anyway any more cheap decisions like that. Otherwise, they're going to be in trouble. <sighs> what a chance for John O'Shea in stoppage time at the end of the first half. It's a good ball. Played in. There's a lovely little ball in there. And O'Shea nodded it just wide of the target. Otherwise, that was 2 0. Well, there goes the half-time interval whistle, blown by Mr. Barry, the referee, the goal. Scored by Diego Forlan inside the last quarter hour of the first half. Gives Manchester United the lead, but Gareth Taylor's had three presentable opportunities and forced a save of the match from Roy Carroll. We've got a half-time situation here. Burnley not out of this by any stretch. It's Burnley nil. Manchester United won at half-time. Now we're going to sell Shire. He's about to come on for the second half, I think. Ruban Nistelrooy is only going to have 45 minutes, I'm told. So there he is, uh, Van Nistelrooy off. And uh, the uh, Norwegian assassin, <laughs> Ali Gunnar Solskjaer, who's got a surefire sure shot. Scored the winning goal, of course, in the Champions League final, you may remember, in Barcelona against Bayern Munich some three or four years back now. Both teams back out onto the field. It's going to be Burnley to get us up and away in this uh, second period then of the game. A game that really has been a terrific watch. Burnley yet to... Burnley have really tried to test... Burnley have really tried to uh, go for it really at the start of the second half. They've got to go for it now, I suppose. So away we go then. Burnley to get us underway. Attacking the goal to our left. One goal down, but uh, there's still a lot to play for in this second half. And if Burnley can get the next goal, just to remind everybody that if it's level after 90 minutes, we will have extra time. And if it's level after that, we'll have the, uh, the penalties. Right, Neville now bringing it out for Manchester United. It's a good ball forward. This is uh, Solskjaer. Phil Neville breaks to Briscoe. O'Shea won it back. Chadwick. And Forlan. Still a chance. Oh, good save. Good save, Marlon Berrysmith. Got his body abound it. It was a really good piece of goalkeeping. Now Glenn Little on the break to Robbie Blake. Referee playing on. I know Burnley reckon they should have had a three kick, but they might do a little bit better than that. Here's Glenn Little. West bursting a gut on the overlap. And oh, and no, it's an own goal. Well, David May, who's captain in the side tonight. Almost slicing it almost into his own goal. But it is a Burnley corner. And just one goal now would really put Burnley back in the contention. Risco's corner. Little with a shot. Charged away. Still not away. No Harry. Here's Taylor. Briscoe. Good ball in. Taylor nearly had it there. Still might drop for Blake. Robbie Blake. Hooked away by Manchester United. Branch. It's a good ball from Graham Branch into the path of Lee Briscoe. That's a decent looking cross from Briscoe! And Steve Davis who stayed forward from the original corner heading wide there. Now that would have been some story if it had stayed there and scored. Although Roy Carroll I think might have just had it covered but even so full marks to Davis to stay forward and getting on the end of that cross. Good play by the Burnley tap captain. United look to break again and here they go. Chances here. He might break for Pew. Good save my Marlon Berrysford. Pew again. And well beautifully tackled there by Alfa Noeri. 
Cox. Robin O'Hare, I should say, to Blake. Again, West out on the far side. Little. But dummy, here's Blake. Charged down. Still might up for Blake. Now the ball out to the far side again. Dean West. Now they're going for it now, Burnley. They may as well go for it. They've got nothing to lose. West has got the ball. Broke to him rather kindly. Good ball in there. Carroll didn't get there. Briscoe might stopped on the line. Virtually there by West Brown. Good defending there by a Manchester United defender. Not such good goalkeeping, it has to be said, from Roy Carroll. And he got away with it. Taylor took it off him legally. And Briscoe just couldn't prod it home. Off comes Paul Cook. On comes Tony Grant, formerly of Manchester City, actually. That's the foul is given against, or throwing is given against Manchester Burnley there in favour of United. It's been an eventful match one way or the other. And the ball pulled back. Here's Pew again. Missed it. Well, the United fans behind the goal was expecting the back of Paris's net to ripple. Alex Ferguson looks on uh, in impassively. And he can't believe he's missed. Well, when you've got a youngster like Pew who's trying to make an impression, that's not the sort of thing you want to be trying to... It's not a sort of thing, misses like that, that you want to be impressing the Man United manager. Oh, that was high by Briscoe. Very high on Phil Neville. It's almost a karate kick there. I'm surprised he hasn't... Oh, look at that. But still much clearer, but there's no excuse in that from Lee Briscoe. Absolutely no excuse in that. Could have took Neville's head off. Played an hour. Free kick to Manchester United. And I think he's very lucky, in fact, Briscoe, not to get a yellow call that. Here's West. Two, I think we're waiting. West wants a corner, wants a three kick for hands. I know he gets off the wrist of Harry. He's a, a throw into his absolute frustration. Here's Blake from the throw. Little with the cross. Might still turn out to be good there for Burnley. And again, another chance goes begging. Briscoe again involved. It's a good ball in. And Briscoe just couldn't get there. Burnley must hold in there. Not a four. They can't afford to concede a second one. It would be a disappointment if they were, but here they come now. Chadwick, here's Solskjaer. Oh, that's unstoppable. Absolutely, utterly unstoppable. You just don't say those. 20 minutes of the second half gone. Manchester United, whether they deserve it or not, stretched their lead to 2 0. Good play by Luke Chadwick. Got a bit of luck there. But he had the presence of mind to pull it back to Solskjaer and the right foot did the rest. And it's a real harsh scoreline on Burnley who have really attacked Manchester United from the word goal tonight. And should have had two or three goals themselves. But you can't take away the fearsomeness of the shot by Solskjaer. And Burnley now trail by two goals to nothing here at Turf Moor in the fourth round of the Worthington Cup. Meanwhile, Burnley about to bring on a Greek international, Demetrius Papadopoulos. You try and say that quickly. Lee Briscoe, who people, a lot of people argue that could have actually seen red for his challenge on Phil Neville. He's off. And Demi Papadopoulos, or Demetrius Papadopoulos, to give him his full name, is on. Willie Morgan, there, former Burnley player, started his career from 1961 to 68 and then moved on. From then on in, for Manchester United lasted another seven years at Old Trafford. And uh, I'm sure he has, has certainly a legend that has the foot in both camps as Solskjaer goes for goal again. And this time finds Marlon Beresford better, much better positioned. Another substitution to come. 
Alan Moore now about to enter the fray. They may as well go for it, I suppose. And Arthur now, Eric. Dub King Arthur after his brace against Preston North End last season. He's the man to make way. Davis. A bit lucky there, but it found little. Apparently deserved that little bit of good fortune, perhaps. There's the cross. In towards Taylor. Comes to Alan Moore, who can shoot on sight. And it was, in fact, Paul Weller, in fact, who had the shot. And no, it wasn't the Paul Weller from the jam. That's Stan Turnant. That's the corner. Short again. Chadwick. Neville. Just wide. Ten minutes to play. And that would have been a harsh goal on Burnley again. And it worked the corner well, Manchester United. Good right foot try from uh, Phil Neville. But I think the goalkeeper, Berrison, would have had that covered nevertheless. Tony Grant. Oh, no offside. Here comes the shot over the top from Gareth Taylor. Well, the Burnley supporters turned out in their thousand to see a potential cup shock if they could produce the same results as they did against uh, Spurs in the last round. But it's not to be. But uh, it's one or two smiling Burnley fans. At least they can concentrate on the rigours of the league anyway. And it's much needed funds for Barry Kilby and, uh, and the board. Continuing the collective ITV Digital. It's Pew goes in and Beresford saves. Still not away yet. Burnley are not out of the woods yet. Giggs rather, sorry I should say. Pull back. This is Pew. This should be free, but it isn't. Marlon Beresford again. Ryan Giggs denied. Good goalkeeping. Spawning keeping again from Beresford. Oh, that's a rugby tackle. That's got to be a yellow card for West Brown. And he knows it was a, a challenge that wouldn't have gone amiss. And the Millennium Stadium, Merrifield or even Twickenham. And referee Barry quite clearly taking his name. No need for it. There goes the full time whistle. Well, on the face of it, it would seem that it looked like a routine Manchester United victory. Anything but, because Burnley made it so, so difficult. Stanton and getting a good pack from Alex Ferguson there. But it's goals from Forlan and Solskjaer. Uh, put Manchester United through. But Burnley can take huge heart from that. It's finished here at Turf Moor in the fourth round of the Wellington Cup. Burnley 0, Manchester United 2. But Burnley will go off to an hero's reception.